In this video, I'll show you how to get the sheet's name within your sheet in a cell in LibreOffice Calc. Hi, my name is Michael with Office Nifty. I make quick tips and video tutorials on how to use Calc software. So I'll show you how to do basically three ways. The first is an elegant and official way to display the sheet. A second is with using a few functions. And a third way is to get the sheet name of other sheets to display within a list. So to start, just click a cell where you want your sheet to appear and double click it to enter into edit mode. Typically in edit mode, we will be able to type in some text. But this time when you double click, right click on it and then we'll get certain options to choose from. Under insert field, the selection that we want is sheet name. So now we see in cell A8, it inserted the name of the sheet I'm using and it has a gray background to it. This shows us that it's not just regular text, but more of a dynamic text, which is linked to the name of the sheet. And we can enter back into the cell and also type in some text either before or after. In case you're curious to know, even though it's showing a gray background here for sheet one, when we go to print preview or actually print out on a sheet of paper, the background will remain consistent and be white along with the rest of the sheet. Now onto the second method. Here I'll highlight the function so we can see what's going on. It's essentially targeting cell B5 and it looks like it's doing something to get the rightmost characters in there with it using some calculation to figure out how many characters to use. Now it looks like in B5, it's an empty blank cell, but I have a secret to tell you. I actually hid this cell by making the text white. So let's change the text color back to what it was. And the formula here is using cell with file name as a parameter. What this actually gives us is it'll tell us the name of the sheet we're using and also the important part is it gives us the name of the sheet itself. Because I haven't saved my file here, I'm not seeing the file name between the single quotation marks, but you'd see towards the front here. The reason it's using a pound sign and a dollar sign is just the way Calc does it. But if we go back to the formula in cell C5, we're seeing that it's trying to look specifically for these two symbols and it helps us to then get all the letters after that. And that's what we see in cell C5. We no longer have the two symbols or anything before that. So this seems like a workaround and it's not elegant at all, but it's useful especially when we want to come to the third scenario. Here I have a list of the other sheet names. So I changed the text color to correspond with the sheet tab color as well. But if we notice the formula bar, it's using the same functions as we did in cell C5. And as you can tell again, my dirty little secret is I've hidden the text in cell D5. So I'll change the font color back to black and it looks pretty much as it did for cell B5, except we're seeing the name of the other sheets as well. So in looking at the function, it's using cell file name parameter, and this is showing that we're targeting cell A1 in the first quarter sheet. And same thing, the next formula, I'm targeting cell A1 in the second quarter sheet. And the way to do this is we can click the function and delete the selection it has. And just simply go to the sheet that you want. And you can click any cell in there once. So we notice that the formula bar populated the address of the cell for me. I can just press enter. So now it pop back to sheet one. And the formula bar is showing that I selected C2 in the second quarter sheet. So that's all there is to it. As a recap, we can go into the edit mode, right click the cell, and under insert field, we can display the sheet name, or we could use a couple functions to display the sheet name. 
Now, if you wanted to combine the functions, which is a more advanced way to do it, you could. But in my example, it's much easier to split one cell with the cell function and another cell with this longer function. And that way I can just hide the first cell. Now, if you wanted an automatic way to list out all the sheet names, it is technically possible, but we'd have to use a macro. And that's a more advanced topic that's beyond the scope of this video. If you're interested to know how to do that as a macro, feel free to let me know in the comments. Otherwise, I hope this video was helpful for you. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay nifty.